वेलकम टू लाइनिक्स क्लासेज माई नेम इज शिखर वर्मा एंड आई एम द स्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस कोर्स मॉड्यूल दैट इज एडवांस लाइनिक्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आई हैव टोटल ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ऑफ आई टी इंडस्ट्री एक्सपीरियंस एंड हैड बीन द पार्ट ऑफ मैनी एम एन सीज एंड ग्लोबल प्रोजेक्ट्स माई प्राइमरी स्किल्स आर लाइनिक्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एनसिबल शाल स्क्रिप्टिंग एंड पॉल एंड माई सेकेंडरी स्किल्स आर एच पी यूनिक्स ए आई एक्स एंड सोलरिस so on the basis of my technical skills and many years of it industry expertise i have designed this course module in this course module i have tried to cover all the major topics of linux administration and these topics are very important and sometimes they are difficult to understand as well and for interview perspective these topics are very important so this course module would be worth for you because i have tried to explain each topic theoretically as well as with lab sessions so who would be the target students for that this is a intermediate or advanced level of course so prior knowledge of linux administration is recommended and this course module is for the it professionals who are already in job and wanted to enhance their knowledge in linux administration this course module is designed for system administrators and it professionals who need to gain hands on knowledge on linux administration so what are the topics i am going to cover in this course module let's have a look on that so i will start with the introduction of this course module and the first topics which i am going to cover is a linux virtual server cluster so in this topic we are going to understand the concept of lvs that is a linux virtual server cluster and we'll understand the whole concepts of lvs the components and the background of lvs cluster and also i have shown this topic with the lab session in the lab session i have covered i have explained each topic the next topic would be your linux virtualization this is a very important topic in which we are going to understand the overview of linux virtualization what is hypervisor the types of hyper hypervisor type 1 and type 2 types of virtualization kvm kemo architecture so all these things we are going to understand in this section the next section would be your squid proxy server so in this section we are going to understand about the squid proxy server the types of proxy servers the proxy servers configurations and its packages how proxy servers actually works and various lab sessions the next topic is very very important that is the ldap lightweight directory access protocol so in this section we are going to understand about ldap concepts what are the different configuration files of ldap how we can install it and what are the you know advantages of ldap over nis ldap database structure and various lab sessions the next section would be managing se linux security this is also one of the important topic to understand so we'll understand the introduction of se linux se linux security concepts changing se linux modes a lot of lab sessions to understand this topic the next topic would be your firewall we all know that the firewall d has been introduced in rhl 7 so this is an important topic to understand so we'll understand the firewall d overview the features of firewall d its advantage over ip tables and different components of firewall d how the packet flows and various lab sessions the next topic would be your samba server so in this section we are going to understand what is samba servers the features of samba servers how we can share the directory of or directory or any file with samba servers and the file system basically we used in sama server is cifs so all these things we are going to understand in this section and a lot of lab sessions also we have in this section the next section would be your automating installation with kickstart so this topic is also important the overview of kickstart server the features graphical mode how we can deploy a new virtual machine with kickstart and various lab sessions the next topic is also important that is the network teaming so we'll understand about network teaming the policies of network teaming 
creating teaming virtual interface so this is a lab session in which i am going to show how to configure the nick teaming as an active backup failover and also understand how we can manage the network teaming the next topic would be your how to configure the SCSI targets and initiators. So this is an important topic to understand. So in this topic we are going to understand about SCSI targets, fundamentals, SCSI concepts, terminology and a lot of lab sessions. The last topic I believe it's ACL access control list. So this is also an important topic. So we'll understand overview of ACL. What are the different commands? Get FSCL, set FSCL, default SCL, secure, securing files with SCLs, and a lot of lab sessions. So, friend, that's all for this course module. So, what are the topics we are going to understand? So, these are the topics, and these are very important topics, the major topics. And I believe you guys are going to enroll into this course module and learn a lot of new things. So, thanks.